Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are doing a 12 by 12 scrapbooking layout using the fo fo Frosted Forest Collection from Fancy Pants. I think I mentioned it on my first 12 by 12 that I like these because I really want to cut out these circles. So that's my envision and I think we're going to make a little bit of a wreath with it and then cut out these florals and have these as the embellishment. That's the thoughts right now. And then I have all the embellishments. I have the sticker sheet I didn't really use. We'll get a title from here. And then honestly, all of the florally bits. Yes, we're going to use all of those. I haven't decided on a photo yet, but let's take the time to cut these circles into cut this paper into circles because this is just so pretty. And I, I love the colorways. So it's tone on tone. We'll figure this out. And then if I can get it on to be some sort of wreath on another pattern paper on one of the ones that have a softer, you know, element that could work or maybe even go dark and have it here. But yeah, some sort of kind of wreath. So let's take the time to actually, oh yeah, I have this, this one. So we're gonna hole punch, hole punch. <laughs> cut circles out of the these two. Fussy cut this and fussy cut this and go from there and we'll put this together all right so let's get started okay so let's get started the layout at the end turns out so good so i did show you that i started off with like a two and a half inch paper punch in a circle and i just got as close as i could to the kind of having the center of this mosaic um pattern paper that came in these two tones um this repeating pattern probably just very beautiful especially this one with the like the purple and the blue kind of combination really really fun especially the pur and the purple you know I like both of them I like both of them this purple on purple one too with the mauve it is gorgeous and them side by side it turned out really good and like a little serendipity moment happened too when I was getting the last edge of the bottom and the blue one the back side had those like winter tree forest images that I do utilize them too. So here I just like kind of found one and I was like, oh my God, like those are really pretty with the trees. I'm going to have the ones flip up. And I was like, actually, that means three of them have it. They got three across. So where's the other one? So I flipped through all of them and I'm like, where are you little tree? See, here I am. <laughs> and having that, even that darker color right there really is pretty. And I thought about, I auditioned out obviously this pattern paper that's kind of like this winter scene with one winter tree on it. And I like it. But I didn't love it. So you'll see me come back after I fussy cut all of that because with the, ma ma the magic of editing, you don't have to sit here and watch me fussy cut out all these flowers. And I just end up using a plain piece of white basil cardstock. That's my favorite. I get it all the time at Joann's. And I just like the bright white to have all of these pattern papers really stand out. Because it does look pretty on there, though. Don't get me wrong. But I, that It was just that line, that like diagonal line across the bottom that had me thrown a little bit when I was looking at it as a design. I was like, do I want that line through my layout? No, I don't. So here we are with white cardstock. <laughs> and in the meantime, too, I, f I picked out a photo I wanted to scrap. And so this one I printed as a 4 by 6 it's a lovely photo of my little Valentina. She must have been eight, nine, maybe 10 months old. Um, I only know that because she sat up around nine months. So that's why I'm like, eh, she's probably like eight, nine. Uh. And I had taken her for a professional photo shoot um, in this little dress, little bow, bow in our headband. And I'm trying to kind of allocate coming through like years and years of photos to kind of get started on a baby album. So this one was just convenient to print and I like that it was on a black background. So here I am with the cut flowers and kind of just kind of auditioning. This is what I say, auditioning, kind of sort of lightly placing where I want things to go. Do I like it? Can I move over? Should I cut more out? Do I need to cut out any of the extra butterflies at this point? And when I looked at it, I was already like, you know what? I, I kind of love it. I kind of love it. So let's just go ahead and glue it. When I use liquid glue in this manner, it's because I really don't want to lose the placement of everything. Under normal circumstances, I would I usually would just kind of push everything to the side and then go back and adhere it. But because I didn't want to lose the placement or the order and redo that whole process, I was like, let me just lift and add a little glue. Lift and add a little glue. That's this process. That way I don't have to recreate the wheel right now. And that turned out just fine. Now, the ones that are with the fancy tree, like I put on the side there, I do pop a few of these up on Fun Foam just for some added dimension. 
around the area and that really added some depth to the wreath layout that I was creating. I also used a few of the die cuts because you see them all spread out on my desk on the left <laughs> and tucked some of them in between some of the layers that I had which actually turned out really really nice and actually like really really full and luscious. I love when a, a layout can get like when I use the word luscious that it, it just takes on like layers and layers of yummy goodness you know what I mean like there's more than one detail to look at I was tucking little leaves on behind you know the elements I was making a uh, flower stick behind some of those circles layering them in different ways some of them are just repeated you know one on top of the other but some of them are um, out of that order and all that gives it interest for your eye to wander across the whole page so once I was deciding on my title from the these thicker sheets I think I would just went with yeah loving and I just was trying to find a place where they would not get blocked blocked because it was black and so some of the elements were a little bit dark in the background and I just didn't want to lose uh, the text itself it's a little busy still where I placed it um, but I just didn't want it off the wreath like in the white space either so that's why I selected there I'm going in with a few of the the, the fun foam or the foam thickers I will go in now with the enamel dots to finish it off and I do take the time to find a bright colored um, ink spray to do some splatters around the layout as well. I do choose a brighter purple. I think it adds another layer once again and those enamel dots are my favorite element too to add toward the end just because they are just shinier and raised and it's just another textural element which I think find, I find great. The picture worked out perfect too with the black background and kind of having her head cut off in the wreath just makes it look like it's so much a part of the layout itself so it really turned out even better than I even expected <laughs> that's always lovely <laughs> okay that will wrap up this video thank you so much for joining me how adorable is that layout that purple sparkle splatter was a Lindy stamp gang one in French lilac violet that I have in my collection and it's just a little bit of a brighter purple but I think that you know as a sprinkle it works for it I will do a little bit of a journaling on the back because I don't want text on it because this is just so pretty on its own so referencing that it's a picture when she was like nine months old and I did a professional shot and I'll put the date on it as well I was thumbing around for my date stamp and just can't find it quickly so I will find it and it will get date stamped for today. I will leave everything linked down below if I had not mentioned it. Remember, this is the Frosted Forest Collection from Fancy Pants. And it's so pretty. This is going on the wall for sure. <laughs> Thank you for joining me. Please subscribe if you haven't done so. Give this video a thumbs up. And until next time.